Welcome to your third tutorial in XHTML, and today we're going to be discussing links. Now, primarily, links can only go three different places. Either somewhere on the page you are currently on, somewhere, uh, another web page within your, the same website, or to a different website entirely. So, let's figure out how to make links. So, again, between our body, uh, body tags, um, we're going to create what is called an anchor tag and these tags are the tags that define links and kind of like the paragraph tags were only P's anchor tags are only A's so I'll type that out and the text that you type in between these anchor tags will be the link will be the text that the person sees on the document so let's just type in click here annoying pop-up advertisements yeah and when we refresh the page oh that's from the previous tutorial not quite a link now, now is it you might be thinking Adam you fooled us no no it's because we don't have a destination for the link yet so it's not exactly being read as a link just plain text so we're gonna have to add in a property to the anchor tags so we have to type in H R E F REF obviously stands for referral. So we click in equals to quotes. Let's do something pretty obvious. Let's go HTTP www.google.com. Let's see what happens with that. Press F5. Oh, look, it's now underlined. We click it, and now we're at Google. Pretty cool, right? So go back and head back to our original document now you might be thinking well maybe I want it to open into a new window or a new tab if you're this next technique that I'm going to show you if you're using Internet Explorer it's going to open in a new window as I understand I don't really use Internet Explorer and if you're using Firefox it'll open it up in a, a new tab so we're going to type in target this is a different property equals then two quotes underscore blank they are gonna save that now normally if you want if this opened in the same page you could uh, click control hold control and then click and now open it into a new tab but why put the user to the um, uh, into the agony of having to do that when you can just click oh that didn't work did I misspell this Oh, wait a minute. I didn't refresh the page. <laughs> you click this, and <laughs> that really scared me. And there there it goes. It goes, opens into the new tab. So, yeah, you can just click it and it opens up into the new tab. Wow, that really scared me. I thought I messed up. Um, so, now you might be thinking, well, I have two pages on my website. How do I go about getting to that next page? Well, first, we're going to need a whole other text document. So I have another text document here which is the default one I discussed in the first video that has everything. You know what? Let me change this to second page. Just cause. Um, so how do we get to this page? Well first let's give it something so we know we're on the next page. And yes, I'm disobeying my own rules by not using the P tags around this. So how do we get to that next page? Well, we look at the name of the file, foo.html, and when the href, we type in foo.html. Just click that, just like that. Now, bear in mind though, uh, this file has to be in the same folder as your other as your other file see how I have the index and foo in the same uh, folder if you have it another folder like this backup folder if I had foo inside that backup folder what I would do is I would type in backup slash foo dot html then it will know to go look inside a folder so I'll click save and there you go and now I'll click refresh oh 
as you can see, it turned blue because now I have not visited visited the link that I'm that's going to send me to. And hey, look at that! We're on the next page. It says second page up there. Now that's pretty awesome. So how do I get it to move somewhere else on the same page that I'm on? Well, this is going to be a, a little tricky because. First of all, I need the page to be able to scroll. So this is going to be a little time consuming. Let's see. So I'll type in P. P. You know what? I'm going to make them H1s because that will make it go by faster if, they're, if it's a bunch of giant text. Text. Oh. Oh, jeez. There we go. So just copy and paste, 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 paste. Well, let's see how it turns out. Oh, not enough. Well, let's paste a few. You know what? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's gonna that's gonna save us some time. Now that we have a whole bunch, oh, you can't even see the bottom of the browser. Whoops. There you go. And as you can see, just go, 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 go. So, what we could do with this? Maybe we want to make it so that when we reach the bottom of the page, we want to go back to the top. So what we what we could do is create another anchor tag here. And not and do not put any text between these two two tags. Instead, create a property within the first tag and call it name. Name equals quote quote and let's call it top. Now let's copy this, or I'm going to cut it, control X, and bring it to the bottom. Now what you do is that you use the pound symbol and then put the name of the link in front of it, the name of the other link that you want to go back to. And this will tell you that it's going to find something with this name and go back up there. But you know what? I should probably get rid of this. Otherwise, well, we might have a problem. Might not work the way we want it to. So, let me change this to top. Now when I press F5, now it's down here. And when I click top, oh, I jump back to the top. Of course, you can't really tell. And what happens is it will go back to wherever the tag was on the page. So if I let me change this text, this word text here to here, so there's a bit of a difference on all this. And I'll move this tag to right below where it says here. And it should end up right below the here. So I press F5 and there's the here text, right? Then when I click at the top Oh, it goes, it went right below, oh, let me do it again. There we go. If you see the scroll bar, it only went part way up. And it's actually one, yeah, it was one below the here. So I put it in the wrong place, but you get the gist of it. And those are pretty much the three different uh, traditional uses that you can use for links. But there are other ways that you can use links, other forms that you can use it for. And we'll get that, we'll get to that in a, in a future video. So long.